I wouldn't go that way. All right, I will go in the back way. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is my thing. on scene of a barricade in the Glover Park neighborhood. This is actually kind of a nice neighborhood. So these are ERT officers, emergency response team. That's basically SWAT for DC. They're based on the other side of the city in northeast, so it's a bit of a drive to get here. They have a couple armored cars, but we haven't seen them show up yet. battering ram on the floor there. Hey guys, greetings from Washington, D.C. We are just across from the National Mall right now. I am on a scooter with a tripod and a camera and a backpack. It's And a camera, a second camera. It's all a bit nuts. We're trying to get down to see the eclipse. Uh, let me show you what's going on in Washington on Eclipse Day. So... The, uh, the government has set up a bunch of stuff. The National Air and Space Museum and NASA have come out onto the Nawal and they're giving away free glasses. They've set up telescopes. Uh, they set up a bunch of things for kids and tourists to see. Let's go take a look at all that. So on my right is the Air and Space Museum. They've got up signs here where they're distributing free solar glasses and filters all along the mall. First aid tents, everything. They're very desperate not to have people stare into the eclipse. This is a sculpture outside Air and Space. It spins around when the wind's whipping. It's pretty good. Air and Space is only partially reopened right now. Still got another few months before the whole thing is open. Let's go on to the mall. So you can see out here on the National Mall, it's quite a party element out here. <laughs> Everybody waiting for the eclipse. About a, we're about to start in about 15 minutes. The first beginning, and then peak is going to come at 3:20, which is about an hour and a half from now. So, this is the National Radio Astronomy Telescope. They uh, have a little display about what they're doing. This is another observe the sun. The sun. People kind of gathered all over out here on the mall. Some already wearing their sunglasses, some not. <laughs> Let's uh, make our way around. There's a lot of people out here just taking pictures of people getting ready for the eclipse. I think they're handing out free stuff down here, this mosey. Telescope set up. Pretty crowded though. Oh, there's a Marine 2 up there. Or a Nighthawk 2. I don't think she, you know, now I think about it, she was going somewhere today. 
Yeah, there's, there's two of them, yeah? See that? Two helicopters heading out of... Uh, yeah, she left at like 2.20, I think. Two helicopters out of the Naval Observatory heading to Andrews. That's got to be her. So this guy's got a Mylar f film set up. Oh, he's got a tracking thing. These are really cool. This astro astrophotography trackers. Lots of folks setting up tripods out here. I think they're running out of glasses down here. It's a big line. Oh no, they're lined up to see through the telescopes. They've set up. Some people are already checking out the sun with their glasses. Okay, so this is the scene in front of the Air and Space Museum. It's quite quite a lot of people. We're going to mosey down to the Washington Monument, though. We're trying to get a photo of the eclipse with a major monument in the background, either Washington, Lincoln, or Jefferson. So I'm going to be down in that area, which is about, uh, about a nine-block walk. It's quite, quite warm in the sun. It's in the low 70s right now. I'm dressed for the low 60s. We got a little dog. All right. So let's make our way down there. We've got to take some practice photos of the, of the sun, too. We have what's called an ND1 million filter. And that is a... Well, it's basically like shooting through the lens cap. It's a very, very dark filter, specifically designed for taking pictures of the sun. Um, we'll see how it goes. Pretty big crowd, yeah? This is Noah, the weather service. I don't know what they're handing out. Got some big telescopes down here. People can look at it. There's one of the DC mini ambulances. The DC Fire Department has these uh, ambulances they use for protests. They're basically little gators. I think they have four of these. And they're all over the city. And then for big events like this, they bring them down here. All right, we keep walking. That is the weirdest barrel effect on that. There we go. Alright, I'll be back. Have fun. There's some... You probably don't have time, but if you go up to uh, 6th Street, where the airspace is, 5,000 people really? all looking up with sunglasses right now. Yeah, they're yeah. all up there. They're all up there. It's it's like, And then you have the Capitol in the background. It's this massive... Yeah. It's pretty dark. The color. <laughs> this direction. The color is dark. Hey, look. Oh. oh, yeah. Nice. May I? Yeah, go ahead. Shadow and my own reflection in there a little bit. Yeah, you gotta go up a little bit. Nice. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. ND1 keep, million. Keeps moving. Yeah, it's, it's a moving target. Do it. Oh! Yikes. Uh, I hate that sound. Lens? Filter, I think. Oh, yeah. We got it here. Huh? Take a look here. Oh, yeah, let me see. This is what we're getting. Beautiful. Beautiful. One second, I'll be right sorry. out of your way. No, you're good. You're good.
Yep. Yeah. Okay. About the same. <laughs> yeah, sure. No worries. Yeah, if you gotta find it. If I try that again. Yeah, sure. Next. Coming down the side of the mine. Oh, okay. Hey guys, well, it's actually still going on. It's almost over right now. Uh, I'm walking back to my car, parked down here by the Department of Energy. And some of you were asking, are the cherry blossoms still blooming? Well, some variants of the cherry blossoms are blooming, uh, but most have already reached peak bloom. I don't think these are cherry, but I think these are rosebuds. I think this is a rosebud tree because this has like the blossoms on the actual bark. So this is in bloom right now. And then there's another type of cherry blossom that is in bloom. But uh, there's still a lot of pretty stuff to see. All right, guys, let's, let's call this day a day. We're going to head back home now and see what kind of photos we got. Okay, that's Eclipse Day in Washington, D.C. Listen, we've got a busy week. We've got a state visit. The Prime Minister of Japan will be here Wednesday for a formal state visit. Uh, I'm not sure if the Congress is coming back or not. I think they are coming back, but they're gonna do some, and they're gonna do some other stuff, some intelligence stuff, FISA bill to this week. So we'll be around showing you what's going on in Washington, D.C. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.